Yes, I know, there are already different videos on YouTube on how to craft a pine or spruce cone torch. Most of them have a burning time between 5 and 50 minutes. In this video, I give you 4 tips how you can increase the burning time up to 30 minutes. So stay tuned. Hello YouTube! Welcome to another project video. The knowledge how to craft a torch from natural materials can be very useful in many bushcraft situations. In this video I want to give you some advanced tips how you can increase the burning time. But the first thing I will do is collecting the materials. Let's go! So, this is what I found, this is a resin, I put it in a tin can, these are flying seeds, pine cones, and this is just for making a fire to melt the resin. The first tip is, let's open the scales from the cone, that they look like this, not like this. In wet weather, the scales of the cones are closed. In this case, you need to dry the cones. Put them on a radiator at home or put them next to the campfire if you are outdoors. But you have to be patient. Drying them takes at least two or three hours. Don't overheat them so that they don't charge. When the scales are open, they can hold much more resin and the combustion process works better because there is more oxygen. Second tip is make a little resin deposit at 
top of the cone. You can break off the tip of the screw's cone. Now you can see a cavity. Use this cave as a resin depot. The idea is that the first couple minutes just the resin in the depot burns. The third tip is melt the resin. You can store much more resin in the cone when the resin is liquid. Pour the soup over the cone so that he runs between the scales. After that let the resin cool down. And the last tip is make sure that the liquid resin doesn't drop onto the forest floor. Most of the resin torches I saw on YouTube have the problem that 50% of the resin drops unburned onto the floor. This is waste fuel. To avoid this make a compact nest with flying seeds, dry grass or other fine fibers. This nest can suck up the dropping resin. You will see, when the cone is burned down, the nest will burn another 10 or 15 minutes. Now I will start the torch.
After 38 minutes, the exposed part of the spruce cone was completely burned out. I stopped the time on the clock. Now I try to turn the cone so that I can ignite the unburned part. Don't do this with spare fingers like me. I guess I was blacksmith in my life before. Now I ignite the cone again. And now I let the timing continue, which I stopped at 38 minutes. Seven minutes later, at 45 minutes, I stopped the clock again. The flame is about to go out. But I still have a lot of unburned seeds, which are soaked with resin. But they don't burn until now, because they are too compact. They don't have enough oxygen. Now I try to expose the unburned seeds a bit. I continue with the time measuring. I would say after 50 minutes the oven is finally off. Almost all material is charred. I'm amazed how long this kind of torch worked. Um, yes, I, I had to ignite it three times and yes, I had some wind problems. But all in all, it burned for 50 minutes or more. The reason for that is that the melted resin don't drop unburned onto the floor. And the melted resin will suck up from the flying seeds. And later he burns again. And this is the reason why this kind of torch burns much longer than other ones. So my friends, I hope this was interesting for you. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you next Friday again. Ciao!